What's up guys, welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Today's video, I'm gonna focus on how to clean your cloth interior and kind of show you all the different tools and tips and tricks that I use to get out any stain that you might encounter. Now, if you are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button below so you do not miss out on any of the new tutorial and how-to videos that I produce. And also you guys can check out all the old ones that I've done because I have done some pretty nasty interiors and they've turned out amazing. So make sure you guys check those out after this video. Now, for any of the tools that I'll be using, all the links will be in the description box below with all the different products that I've talked about in today's video. If you wanna check them out and pick them up yourself, uh, for your own detailing arsenal, they are there listed for you. So like any detail, the first step for me is always vacuuming, so let's go ahead and get right into it. When you are vacuuming, make sure you recline the seat and get in between the top and the bottom bolsters, because if you don't do that and you're using your extractor later on, the water will get into that dirt and then possibly cause additional staining than you originally started with. Now it is time to start extracting, which my extractor is filled with warm water diluted 20 to 1 with the Folex. And when you start your passes, do the first pullback pass with the trigger pull to inject the fluid and suck it out. And then after you've completed that first pass, go back forward over the pass with the extractor so that way you can do an additional round of suction to get any additional water out of the surface. When working on the area between the top and the bottom part of the seat, make sure you spray some of the cleaner into that area first before you use your suction nozzle. That way you can make sure that area is saturated before you begin your suction pass. Typically, on most seats that I've done with my type of extractor, it usually takes about two passes to get the job done. But if you have a more high-end extractor, that might not be the case. Or if you're doing spot clean, you might be getting away with one pass. In general, from my experience, it usually takes about two passes to get a seat cleaned. Probably the most enjoyable part of this is seeing what came out and this just came out of that one seat itself all of that dirt In this shot, you'll see that I'm kind of struggling with getting the extractor in a right angle to get the seats perfectly clean. This is one of those opportunities where I highly recommend that if you're doing any seat cleaning in your vehicle or a customer's car, to go ahead and remove the seats from the car itself. It gives you more room to work on the seat. It also gives you the ability to see the seat in direct sunlight without any shadows. So that way you're making sure that you don't miss any spots or stains that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. A common question I get is how long does a specific part of a detail take or detail in general. In this case, doing cloth seats and cleaning them entirely front and back on a typical sedan, you're usually going to have to budget for about three to four hours. And I say that because usually it takes two passes if you're removing the seats as well and the front and back seats just take time and then you have to budget for time that it takes for them to dry before you return them to a customer. Thank you. 
Sometimes what can happen when you have like spots like this on the sides, it's easier not to even use the extractor for it and just use something like, you know, your Folex spray and then your soft bristle brush, which I'll show here. Just because some of these tighter spots along the edges and around the airbag and any of just these seats and corners, it's easier just to use a spot treatment instead of actually using an extractor to get them out. And I'm just using soft pressure, using the bristle brush, just doing small circular motions, letting the brush kind of do its work. Now with just the clean microfiber cloth, it's gonna wipe the area to get any excessive product or dirt that's on the surface. And the nice thing about this process is it kind of shows you that you don't need an expensive extractor. You don't need anything crazy to get stains out if you are working on your own car yourself. Sometimes it just takes the right product and the right tool to get the job done. The best part about doing it this way is you don't use a ton of product and you don't really saturate the surface as much. So compared to an extractor or a different method where you're actually saturating the fabric, this way you don't do it a ton. So by doing that you also minimize your drying time too. Now the method of just using the Folex with the brush to agitate is more of a surface type treatment. It will take a lot of the dirt and anything that is attached to the very top. But if you have any deep embedded stains, you'll probably have to take a more aggressive method with an extractor or with a spot type treatment and then followed up by an extractor again. When it comes to the type of brush that I decide to pick when I clean cloth seats is I always try to err on the side of caution and use a softer bristle brush at first. And then if you have the opportunity to jump up to a more aggressive brush that's a little bit harder bristled and also larger, that is one thing you can do. But I always try to start out smaller and also with a softer brush to see if I can get the job done first because you never know the age of the cloth seat. You'll never know if you're gonna start seeing pilling or you're gonna start seeing some abrasion caused by your brush. So I always try to err on the side of caution when I start out. So after you're done cleaning your seats, I highly recommend just doing one more pass with your vacuum. Not only does this give you the vacuum lines, but it also allows you to get any dirt or anything that might have been introduced during the cleaning process or after, but it also allows you to remove any remaining liquid in the seat to decrease the time that it takes for it to dry. And here are the end results. It actually turned out amazing using both methods. So if you don't have an extractor, don't sweat it. You can simply use the Folex with a brush to agitate and then wipe off the surface and get just as good of a clean if you just have surface dirt. If you guys like today's video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below of what video you guys want to see next, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.